Hi everybody, my name is David. I'm a Coke Plate Frontier from the Genesis Group. And today I'm going to go and continue reading the white paper for Coke Plate. Alright, so let's go here. And last time I read social problems. So let's go to 1.2. Exist, existing blockchain technical issues. I'll make this a little bigger. Alright, let's go. The first blockchain... Bitcoin was devised to enable the transferring of non-government currency between two traders. However, as blockchain technology gained more popularity and the philosophical value and potential of decentralization technology became more ubiquitous, the boundary of blockchain technology has expanded from mere transferring to providing new solutions that can change the structure of the traditional industry as we know it. So that's right. At first, blockchain might have been used for just transferring currency, blockchain currency, right? Like Bitcoin is a currency. However, now we have different solutions for blockchain, right? And so we could use it as a smart contract and so on. Accordingly, there have been numerous attempts and technology developments such as smart contract, DAP, DAO, NFT, and etc. As these innovative concepts still remain at an experimental level, it is also true there yet remain numerous hurdles we need to overcome to achieve complete decentralization, which is true. Right now, everything we hear about is it is, it is in its infancy stage, right? I mean, it is, yeah, it's an infant. It can't even walk and crawl, you know. It's, it's, it's at the stage of where it's growing. Of course, some of these um, new developments are at a stage where you can maybe say the baby's walking, but, I mean, it's still fairly new. One of Ethereum's co-creator, Vitalik Buterin, Buterin, or Buterin, categorizes these problems into several major factors, governance, speed, waste, DAP, utility, and choice. That means the problem at hand that blockchain technology has is how can we create blockchain that can solve these four factors into a decentralized and safe method? Yeah, good question. Network issues. Efficiency. Vitalik Buterin, um, POW wastes billions of dollars a year, much more than the sum of all fraud and theft cases combined. It's a big tragedy. Modern blockchain, even the most advanced blockchain projects, are suffering from the same problem. In other words, all transactions are being conducted one by one. This applies equally to proof of stake, POS, as well as the proof of work blockchain POW transactions are stored one by one in blocks and only one node is able to generate a block at one time all of these brings the result of sequential execution of transactions to smart contracts this turns the back end of the blockchain network into a giant supercomputer taking away 99.99 percent of computer power so I guess it, it takes a lot of energy, right? Um, and so, you know, sometimes you hear that Bitcoin is not that good for the environment. But, you know, I think we just got to use clean energy for that. Okay, so 1.22 governance issues, centralized infrastructure. Vitalik Buterin, Buterin recently said, the Bitmain and Alliance pool currently has 52% of all Bitcoin hash power. Isn't it a big problem? Centralized network resources poses the risk of severe damage to the entire POW proof-of-work network, even with the dominance penetration or shutdown of a small number of targets. So I think what he's saying is, you know, it's not good that you look at Bitcoin, 52% of the, the mining it's done by, I guess, one group. And that's really making it centralized, not decentralized. Governance. Vitalik Buterin, considering how EOS governance has been catastrophic, doesn't 
this mean that there is a fundamental flaw in all one-chain governance, including DOA or DAO? What centralized self-organization is able to counter bribery attacks or plutocracy? Governance has much to learn from existing methods, frameworks, and attempts. In governance, there are a few things we need to fix from the beginning. Some should be changed later after evaluating the reality. Computer scientists are looking for the perfect solution for blockchain governance that is safe and protected from countless malicious decisions and exploits. Like the U.S. Con Constitution, a powerful system will be the fundamental for future change that needs to take place later. We constructed much of the design with this only question in mind. What is fair governance in cryptocurrency? So, you know, I know that's kind of, I've always, the way they look at EOS is that's Achilles heel of EOS. It's the governance situation. Um, you know, they have great programmers, you know, incredible product, but people complain about their governance. So that part is true. And so remember right now, they're talking about all the issues, okay? Software issues, uh, 1.2.3, utility, Vitalik Buterin, Buterin, why there isn't any large applications that are useful yet? Most blockchain applies several vi viable entities such as smart contract and chain nodes, codes, used in newly invented or light programming language can reduce the reliability and expressiveness of the code. Smart contracts are short and simple. The language and techniques used in blockchain do not allow the development of rich functions and powerful systems. Only a few small contracts exceed 1,000 codes. However, complex business logic, rich content manipulation, and creating DAP that connects multiple users has all been made possible on the code platform wow that's amazing um so i guess it's really just so much information that you could put in a block blockchain it's not like you could put a whole movie in there and watch a movie in one blockchain i don't think it works that way and so there's isn't a whole lot of codes however with the coke platform you know you have a real business that's on the blockchain and so it's being used Okay, security. Vitalik Buterin. Why don't we have a good solution to solve our security challenges yet? When will the problem of account hacking and theft be resolved? Most blockchain comes with only compilers that create executable no code. There are no tools or device testing, continuous integration, and code analysis. As a result, only simplicity protect smart contracts from security breaches. Complex smart contracts have inherent flaws and vulnerable vulnerabilities, and many reports on security incidents have already been submitted. If better development tools are provided to developers, security incidents that cost significant damage could be avoided. Thus, the Coke platform is innovative in that it allows for complex functions and provides an efficient and productive development for DAP. These are solutions to some blockchain's biggest dilemmas. Okay, so, you know, it seems like Coke Play has developed new ways uh, for better security. Okay, and this is the last one, point 1.2.4, underdeveloped NFT non-fungible token technology. NFT is a non-fungible token, has its own unique value, and it makes direct replacement of each token impossible. On blockchain, NFT is mainly used for tickets, real estate, income status, crypto kitties, coupons, etc., and it possesses property and profit based on its own number. NFT within Ethereum's ecosystem follows ERC-721 standard and in the EOS ecosystem. It began a standardized standardization in open source software domains such as DGoods or simple assets as a form of working group. In Ethereum, NFT is utilized typically on CryptoKitties and Decentraland. 
and it provides a unique characteristic as NFT. As various fields have started implementing this NFT blockchain technology, the concept about digital asset property has been clarified. Utilizing NFT can also solve the problem on existing digital asset property. As NFT technology was developed for utilization on Ethereum in the Ethereum ecosystem, it requires more development in case of EOS or other forms of blockchain. KOK platform refers to existing NFT standardization, but it creates and operates its own NFTs specification that is optimized in Coke's ecosystem called the Digital Contents Platform. So here you can see that Coke Platform has its unique system to make its own NFTs. And once again, you know, Ethereum, Ethereum's good, but it costs too much money, right? The gas, I mean, it just costs so much money to operate off of um, Ethereum. EOS is good, but once again, it's still developing and they have, you know, people do complain about their governance. Like, I, I like EOS. Um, if you watch all my videos, whenever I mention EOS, I normally say, you know, I, I like EOS. But yeah, the Achilles heel of EOS tends to be the governance situation where Coke Play doesn't have that issue. So that's it for today. Next time, I'm going to go into Coke platform structure. All right. Now let's go back. So right now, if you have problems with your um, Coke Play digital platform, once again, uninstall it, go back to Play Store and install it back, install it again, okay, and everything's going to be running properly, all right? So they have a great big sale going on. I guess I'll talk about that later, and we have a first Web2 mileage event, which is also cool. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the like, okay? Um, subscribe, share it with a friend, and if you would like to join Coke Play, just go to Play Store, hit KOK space P-L-A-Y, and then you're, you'll need a recommendation code. You can use my recommendation code, Q-A-A-B-I-R-W-L, Q-A-A-B-I-R-W-L. All right, everyone, stay blessed, God bless, and Coke on.